the 3D Machines out. Have a hell of a good day. Monday, the best day of the week. No way, Dalton. Friday, Saturday, or Sunday are the best days of the week. Those are good days, too. Monday is my favorite day of the week because you get back to the grind. Now, no, I don't consider this the grind. I consider the actual work the grind. Filming is easy. Telling a story can be easy. This thing, on the other hand, the snow bike, can be a little tricky at times. <laughs> Got some chains and sprockets on it. She's moving forward. And as long as you have a smile and a little bit of happiness in your soul, you're moving forward too. You see, everybody has their own label on life. Everybody can describe life in different ways and in different terms. Now personally, I look at life like the playground or, or when you went to kindergarten or first grade or second grade when you had a couple minutes to like play around and to be creative and to have fun. In second grade, I remember she had like Lego type things, my, my teacher that is, and I remember I would build these cool big things that, that nobody else would build and then others saw what I was building and then they wanted to compete or, or maybe not even compete, maybe that just drove them to build something cool too. The reason why I look at life like this is because I think of it as building blocks. Every day, you can put one more block on the building. You can put one more block on this tower. Now, other people can do the same thing. However, is it their decision to build on their block to make theirs taller or to make theirs taller by knocking your building down? You never knock down anybody's building. Some days you have tangible building blocks and others you, you don't have a tangible building block. You just, you, maybe you have a goal for that day. Today I have a hunk of steel. Well, it's not gonna be a hunk of steel when I'm done with it. This building block, this gear, is going to make my machine work better. And look better. I also believe in making life a little bit easier every day. So that's why I welded this nut onto this piece of plate. Before I would have had to use two wrenches, but now since I welded that nut to this piece of plate, I will only need one wrench for this side. It's welded, it's wrapped up, it's ready to be powder coated. We're powder coating our first thing ever. I always etch, prime, paint, and then clear coat it. We're gonna skip all those steps, get it done the right way. 3D machines here, how the heck are you? Now, Dalton, where, where have you been? Like, you've been gone for like five weeks. I'm on a horse on the beach. That's the longest that you've ever been gone. I think that is the longest I've ever been gone. Um, I did exactly what a lot of people do in the holiday season, throughout the holiday season, and that is I traveled. Uh, my girlfriend and I went to California. We did a lot of crazy stuff. You saw the airport at the beginning of this video, and that's when we left from Buffalo to California, San Francisco. And then I came home and I did research. I, I'm i self-employed, so I don't get to come in contact with a lot of people. I strictly 
Uh, before, I was strictly picking up a camera every day. This was a couple months ago when I first started daily vlogging. Well, it was actually a year and three quarters ago or something like that. I would strictly pick up a camera every single day and do a little bit of work on, uh, well, not a little bit of work. It, it looked like a little bit of work because it was only a six to 10 minute video, but it was it was a lot of hours. I would do this and I would miss out on trends because I didn't, I didn't come in contact with a lot of people. When you're in high school, when you're in middle school, when you're in college, when you can communicate with people at, at the workplace, in my opinion, it's eat. Okay, Devin, thank you for your machine order. It's easier to stay in the loop. Um, I'm, I'm late on trends. So for example, cryptocurrency, that was something that came out months ago. Well, uh, uh, I can say almost with certainty that, that they will come to a bad ending. It actually has been a thing for a very, very long time, but it's, it's finally getting into the loop and it's finally getting to 3D Machines. 3D Machines is out in Western New York where nothing happens. <laughs> And nothing gets excited about cryptocurrency. Everybody in the cities and and whether that be California or New York City, you know, things move a lot quicker over there. Here it's like, okay, uh, it's sent by first class mail, which is extremely slow. I take that back. It, it's not even that fast. It's like being walked from New York City to me. So that's another thing that I've been researching is cryptocurrency. Will 3D machines, you know, invest in cryptocurrency? And I won't know the answers. Has 3D machines lost all his money in cryptocurrency? One thing is for sure, it is interesting. We, we did get Jake the Toilet Snake all pumped up about cryptocurrency. It was hilarious. <laughs> Jason and I are trying to explain it to them. <laughs> Jake, I like that hat. You'll see that later on in the, in the next video. But no, we're just trying to do what everybody should do, and that is enjoy life. Whether that's working, whether that's playing, whether that's doing whatever you find that makes life enjoyable. Me personally, I like to work this thing as much as I can until it hurts and then I, I feel depressed and then I just want to sleep. Um, and then and then you gotta push the reset button. Before I get into what I'm about to say, I do 100% agree with the machine movement. I 100% believe in the machine movement. And that's why I've already discussed with both Jake and Seth that I'm going to sponsor him this race season. We're also going to try to come up with a solution to sponsor some of you guys. A year and a half ago when I was really hot and everything was really, really exciting because everything was really new, um, YouTube was compensating me very, very well. Uh, later on, later months, uh, these last couple months, YouTube's not been compensating me at all, which is which is really difficult. So instead of getting mad at YouTube for not compensating me well, I had to come out with the machine stuff. I had to come out with the t-shirts. I had to come out with the sweatshirts. I had to come out with the, the new release hats that are going to be available by the time you see this video. And I knew I couldn't make a quick buck by just selling cheap stuff. And that's why I made quality t-shirts. That's why I bought quality sweatshirts. That's why I bought quality hats is because you, you can't sell a bunk product. You can't sell a losing, a losing product. Now, when I say this stuff is good stuff, just think about this. I sleep in this stuff. That's how comfortable my t-shirts, my sweatshirts, and my hats are. I sleep in it. And those two things help tremendously with the videos. Now, going back to, to knowledge and, and learning and research, now I'm trying to find different sources of income so that I can continue to make these videos. So like, uh, that that's why sometimes I don't upload is because I'm strictly trying to find different ways to pull, you know, funds and income into into making videos the main objective of this video is to one update you two make you happy and three make you understand why the videos don't come out sometimes just know 3d machines and the machine brand is here forever it's not going to go anywhere it's not going anywhere it's going to be something that everybody's going to want to wear everybody's going to want to be proud of and everybody's going to be talking about even if it does just look like i'm a stupid 23 year old kid I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, whether whether that upload be in five weeks, a year, or tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Have a hell of a good day.